I, this kind of started with you, right, Maeve? I mean, yeah, certainly. 14-year-old <laughs> Maeve Sanford Kelly is not shy about the bill she recently helped pass on a statewide level. Because it's something that is horrible that you guys here have the power to prevent. But what it really started with, she says, was this. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the So when you first saw the Access Hollywood tape, you were, what, 12 years old? Yeah. And that still impacted you? I mean, certainly. I think I was 12, but I was old enough to watch it and react to it. And so was my little brother, and he was eight or nine. Like, it's not, you don't have to be to that old to understand how wrong it is. Maeve's mom... And 12 is the age that we're learning about these things, so... ...is Maryland true. State yeah, Delegate cool. Ariana really Kelly. Time. They felt it made no sense that Maeve and her peers weren't taught the issue of consent in public school sex education, so they drafted a bill together. It was less of fixing and more of being proactive. I don't want the people who are in my generation to act the same as how I've seen people in my mother's generation and my grandmother's generation acting. And the concept was simple. Don't do something that involves another party if the other party doesn't also want to do it. Problem was, their first try at passing a bill ended in failure. But Maeve wasn't giving she up. She texted us back and she said, don't you guys worry, we're coming back next year and we'll pass it next year. And she was right. That next year also brought with it a movement known as Me Too. And the scales tipped, right? These rhetorical ideas about how terrible sex ed is sort of became less important as the practical implications of let's teach our kids about consent so that they don't accidentally not understand it. Yeah, because we're BCC on Thursday, because Dwayne wants to come on Thursday. I, yeah. Oh, Dwayne's going to come? Mom admits that she's become more cynical over the years, but seeing her daughter's idealism in the process reignited her own. And with Maeve's perspective being hopeful and fresh and young, it reminds me uh, that we have to succeed. <laughs> Reporting for The Now in Bethesda, Maryland, I'm Chris Welch.